Friends of America Week, the week that is designated to remind all of us about those youngsters who belong to the future farmers of America. They're youngsters today, but tomorrow they'll be producing the agricultural products that we need so badly. I'd like for you to meet two of them who are here today. Two young men, I think you will enjoy them and their guests. I want you to meet Bob Nelson and Adrian Platt. Here they are. Let's give them a hand. Well, Adrian, you do have a friend here, don't you? Yep. And a nice, friendly one that isn't a bit afraid of an audience. Didn't, didn't even jump when the boys and girls applauded either. How old is that little lamb? Um, Saturday night. Saturday night, <laughs> yeah. So we've got about, uh, what, four or five days old, something like yeah. that? Well, I want to tell you, you just, you're just learning an awful lot about this, this whole world in a very short order. Adrian, where do you live? Uh, Moth, Illinois. And how old are you? Uh, 17. How long have you been in the Future Farmers of America? Uh, two years. Two what are some of the projects in which you have become involved? Well, I have uh, swine and sheep and a uh, little bit of pasture. Right. And what do you learn from the Future Farmers of America organization? What do they try to teach you, young men? Uh, leadership or responsibility. Uh, and how to be a good farmer. Yeah. And you have to be a good farmer today. You bet your life you do. It, it, it isn't as easy as it used to be. Farmers have to produce much more food than they ever did before, and they have to do it with less space, don't they, Bob? That's right. Tell me a little bit about Future Farmers of America. Uh, the Future Farmers of America is a national organization for high school students, and also students like myself, uh, in order to keep the organization going, we need leadership, and I happen to be going, I, I'm a freshman at Kishwaukee College, which is a college near my hometown. Which is, your hometown is? Malta. Malta. And it's, okay. out, it's out near DeKalb. All right. What do you get involved in? What are some of the things you do in Future Farmers of America? Well, I've been a member since I was a freshman in high school, and um, my projects, I've raised hogs, and I've also had some corn and soybeans growing. And this year, I'm serving uh, as Section 6 president. There's 25 sections in the state of Illinois, and I'm serving as one of the section presidents, and uh, I have the duty of serving on the state officer team and, and uh, looking over the, the uh, activities of the state. There are girls as well as boys in Future Farmers of America. Well, when we started out about 54 years ago, there wasn't any girls. It was mainly just farm boys. But in 1969, we started allowing girls because they had more girls that were interested in this area, and they're expanding, and they wanted to get into the production. And also, we've added agribusiness areas such as sales and service and also horticulture, you know, working in a greenhouse or something right. like that. Well, after all, the women on the farm play just as important part as the men do. That's true. It's a good thing for you to include them. This is the week when we honor future farmers of America. Anybody have a question you'd like to ask? A boy or a girl would like to ask some of these youngsters, come two of these boys here, who live out on farms, who are going to be future farmers of America. If you have a question, Bose has a microphone. Hold up your hand, and he'd be glad to come over to you. There's a young boy back there with a blue shirt on, Bose. He seems to have a question. He wants to ask. Yes, sir. Okay. What is your question, sir? Is it a big trouble raising those goats? Goats? The sheep? The sheep? The sheep. That's the sheep. That's the lamb. That's the baby lamb. There's no real problem except that uh, you have to be with the ewes when they lamb because it gets cold and the lambs have to have attention right away when they're born. But like at this age, they're no real problem. No, they do very well. This one's mother is out uh, where you live? Uh, no, this was uh, Sunday night. I had a pair of twins. There's another one, uh, another one to this one, and the ewe died. Uh -oh. That was the first one I lost, so I have to feed these with a bottle. That's why it's not. So you're feeding this one, but you're bottle feeding. Yeah, that's I why. see. All right, we have another question. Yes. 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 If I may ask a question. You don't have to live on the farm to be a member of the Future Farmers of America. I don't do think you? so. Do you, Bob? No, we have chapters actually right in Chicago. There's one chapter, John Marshall High School, and they have their main project is they are in horticulture, and they have a greenhouse on top of school. And there's also about two or three chapters in the suburbs, such as Barrington, and also District 214. That's right. So you don't have to be, you don't have to live on a farm to be a future farm of America. One more question from the boy on the front row. How many kinds of animals do you have on the farm? How about the, how, how do you, what do you do about that, Bob? How well, do you have? I only raise hogs. I have, there's about a thousand hogs on the place. I have three older brothers that we raise hogs with. 
that I uh, sure, raise them with. with a thousand. Yeah, it yeah. keeps me busy. And also, it ranges from beef cattle and dairy cattle and sheep. And also, you know, maybe in town, uh, some people might raise rabbits or, or uh, yeah. earthworms for fishing or something like that. Sure. How about you, Adrian? What do you raise? Uh, my sheep. father raises hogs, and we've got a few cattle, and I just raise sheep. You raise the sheep. Do they give you prizes for the for the sheep that you raise or for the projects that you get involved in? In FFA, yeah, we yes. have record problems and record books. Right. And also for shows. Of course. Like that. These are two young men who belong to Future Farmers of America. And they may be feeding us very shortly. This is Adrian Platt and Bob Melson. Let's give him a nice hand. <laughs> Right after these massages. Hey, that's nuts.